Hey guys, you may be the best here today coming at you with another video. And today, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing with my Dark Lords. And I'm really sorry, guys, I did not post a video for a long time. As I said, I have been busy with loads of other stuff. I will not be posting as many videos as I did, but I'll try to uh, post as many videos. So, yeah. Uh, so, I just summoned the Dark Lord of Bordius in my first turn. Um, I really like this deck, it's a pretty cool deck. Also, I do misplay in the first turn. I did not activate Dark Lord Osmodeus' effect. Also, he gets rid of uh, my uh, Valhalla. Uh, so, he activates Books of Life. He banishes my uh, Dark Lord monster. Then, he goes for a fusion monster, I believe. I accidentally send my uh, Dark Lord monster to the graveyard for some reason. Uh, yeah. So, he does loads of his shenanigans here. Like, it's what zombies do, I guess. They're really good deck, um, so this guy demonstrated a good uh, amount, I guess, of plays. So he does his shenanigans, I take that 3000 and that 12100, then I set the bombless, then, uh, then I really can't do anything because my hand's well horrible. So here yeah, I just side because I don't have a side deck. Uh, so I do open up a Valhalla and a Hecatrice, which is pretty nice. So I summon the Master Hyperion, and I can't summon Vanity's Ruler. I just use it as a in target. But then we have, then I top deck into an Archfield Christia. He sets three, so I'm not really scared because the first game he didn't set anything. And I don't think he sided. So he MSC's my Valhalla. I uh, discard I Hecatrice and add me my second Valhalla, and I just special summon the Archfield Christia. And he can't do anything pretty much now because um, our show Christia stops uh, uh, from a special summoning, which is pretty nice. So I attack and keep on attacking. And I set the Raiko in case he tries to do something. So I flip some of the Raiko, he changes the lands, then I attack for uh, 1200 here. Then he activates uh, Allure Darkness, then he just takes my our show Christia, then he mills um, two and stuff. So. Yeah, he does his shenanigans here. He knocks hole my uh, Arso Christia, and it goes back on the top of the deck, which is a mandatory effect. Guys, in the duel, you'll see that uh, he sent it to graveyard for some reason. Uh, yeah, just a misplay for me there, guys. And there he summons Beals, a card that is just COP, the Dark Dragon Ruler. That is what everybody's calling it. So I special summon my Dark Lord Ismodius. Then I just uh, activate his effect, and then I destroy himself, and Beals cannot be destroyed, sadly. Uh, he attacks my Hecatrice, can't do anything. I activate the trade in, then I just special summon the, the Arshore Christia, and uh, I just do my shenanigans here. So, yeah, guys. And then I just summon it again because, well, I um, keep on tech, top decking this card, which is kind of annoying. And I really can't do anything. And if he MSDs my Vault Hollow, that's pretty much a good game. So then he actually activates Lila's effect on my Vault Hollow, which is pretty annoying. And then he goes for a level Vault, Vault, Vault Chain. And I'm sorry, sorry guys for the background noise, if you can hear that. So I summon my Dark Arm Dragon. I can't do anything really. I can't destroy the Beals, sadly. And then. Yeah, so he activates Mizuki's effect, especially summons the Zombie Master, then go uh, like better. Then he has to go for HCS Sahimith. Then I lose here, guys. And yeah, this deck is pretty. Uh, his deck is pretty good, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, guys, remember to just here out.